Well, you ready for some breakfast? Yes. The buttered biscuit. Yes. I think that's where we're headed toward Waynesville, North yes. Carolina. Uh huh. But we've passed the buttered biscuit many times. This time we're going to stop. Right. And some of you out there have mentioned it to us, so we're going. Do we know what they have at the. Have you seen a menu at the buttered biscuit yet? I may or may not have looked online <laughs> and saw that they have gravy. They do have gravy. That's what I was wondering. So that's what you're going to try, right? Well, yeah. Why wouldn't I? Right. You have to go. If you go someplace that has gravy, you have to try it. Oh, gosh, yeah. Just like me and chai tea. Yeah. So what do you think you want from the buttered biscuit? I don't know. I have to see the menu. I didn't look at the menu at the time like you. to the Biltmore, leave us a comment. We'd like to know what you thought about it. We've mm -hmm. been, it's been a long time, mm -hmm. and obviously you can't video inside the home, but we've been contemplating, should we go back? Yes. And, um, but we'd love to hear your thoughts. If you've been recently, we know it's really pretty during the Christmas season. You may give it a try. And guess what, Mike? They filmed a Hallmark Christmas movie at Biltmore. I think it's coming out sometime after Thanksgiving on the Hallmark Channel. Oh, yay! <laughs> Our daughter sent me a link back, oh, spring or... It's been a long time ago saying that they were looking for extras. She thought I would be the perfect extra for a Hallmark movie. But, you know... Our schedule wouldn't allow that because when they call for extras for a scene you have to go and stay all day i wouldn't be an extra <laughs> i'd be a main cast of <laughs> not a chance <laughs> all right so here we go on to better business on the Great Smoky Mountain Expressway here coming up. Okay, we're looking for the buttered biscuit. There's Duncan. There it is, right there. There it is. Buttered biscuit. Let's find a parking place. Breakfast and lunch. Oh, they have lunch too. There are people waiting outside. Yeah. We might be able to wait in a van. Probably. Okay, so parking is, um, if you have something like this, this is a little difficult to find, but we did squeeze into a place here. And Karen run in, get us in line. We've heard a lot of good things about the buttered biscuit. Okay, they said 20, 25 minutes. Gonna text my phone. Okay. We're just gonna hang out here. It's one big open room. It's all crowded in there right now. <laughs> Welcome to the buttered biscuit. Here we are. Yeah, yeah, we didn't have to wait as long as they said we would. No. All these people are gone too that were in the front. Motorcycle front. parking. There's a bunch of people out here. I guess a big swing of people left. Yeah. Open six days, closed Tuesday. Yeah. Okay, thank, thank you. Thank you. Go to bed. I didn't know. Okay, first observation. We see some biscuits over to our right. We're not staring. They're giant. <laughs> They're humongous. Yes, they are. <laughs> oh my goodness. Now you can get lunch right now too because it's breakfast or lunch right now. They do have takeout available too, it says. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, here it says open 7 a.m. to 2 p.m., six days a week, 
Wednesday to Monday, closed on Tuesdays. Breakfast served all day. Thank you. Okay, so we have reached, uh, I'm going to country folks. Two eggs, country or city ham, you know, I want country ham. Hash browns, biscuit and gravy. I'm going with uh, sausage and cheese omelet. And it comes with grits or gravy, biscuit or toast, and substitute hash browns. But they got waffles, pancakes, french toast, mm -hmm. side orders, lunch, omelets, eggs, sandwiches, and of course buttered biscuits. So just a plain old buttered biscuit is $1.99. And you can get like chicken or ham or something Bologna, on it. You can get fried bologna, egg, mm -hmm. just a gravy biscuits three eighty nine, which is not bad. So anyway, you can check out their menus online. They do have burgers here and salads and sandwiches. I like this kind of ice right here. Mm -hmm. I want the um, country folks, please, country ham. The hash browns. I'm going to do the sauces and cheese omelet, and I want a biscuit with that. And I want, can I get hash browns instead of gravy or grits? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Thank you. We'll get you going. Well, folks, you're not going to believe this. <laughs> I mean, that is a lot of gravy, and it looks like a big biscuit, but when the biscuits aren't cut open, look at that. I'm going to show. Look at, it. Look at this. It's huge. <laughs> it's even heavy. <laughs> Love Look at that thing. Look how big it is. <laughs> Let me show you guys all this food. There's my gravy, biscuit, and hash brown. Look at all that. Eggs, country ham, cans omelet. What kind? What's in the omelet? Sausage and cheese. Okay. Thank you. Hash browns and that giant biscuit. Oh, it's humongous. You got that, you got a biscuit that big under your gravy. I know it. Hash browns. Okay. Let me give them a taste here. Mm hmm. I might just scoot over. Your two plates and elbows are taking up all room. <laughs> Let me try a little bit of this country ham. Here's my sausage and cheese omelet. Get your mm. ham. You want a bite? Mmm. The omelet's good. Oh, wow. Mmm. Look at that. Salty. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm-mm. All right. We're not going to eat anymore in front of you. We'll show <laughs> you here, though. Look at that. There's her omelet. We're going to put some butter and jelly on this biscuit. Okay. I'm going to share it with you, even though you're being stingy about gravy, and I only wanted one bite. Is <laughs> that enough strawberry jelly for you? No, I'm going to need a little more than that. <laughs> I can't believe there's this much food. Mm. Those biscuits are so thick. Look at this thing. Um, what on, are you having? I'm going to try some apple, I mean some orange marmalade, and the apple butter too in a minute. Mmm. Wow. I'm gonna try this orange marmalade first. Mm. How's that? That's good. Okay, we're here with Heather, who is our <laughs> server, did a great job. Yes, she? she did. <laughs> but we were asking about uh, the butter biscuit. This family owned, tell us a little bit about it. Yes, yeah, so um, I think this is our eighth year at the butter biscuit. Family owned, uh, there's always somebody in the family here, if not multiple members. Um, we usually go through an average of about 300 biscuits a day. Um, there's never a biscuit from yesterday that's used today. Um, everything's fresh and... Um, Wait, no day old biscuits? Nope. That's awesome right there. Yeah. And you definitely got plenty of gravy. Yes, plenty of gravy. That's like our, our slogan, mind your own biscuits and life will be gravy. Yeah. <laughs> that's good. What's the back of your shirt say? The, it has like the slogan. Oh, okay, that's yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. And there's another restaurant that the uh, family owns? Yes, so Low Tide is owned by the same family members and a lot of the same staff work at both. And it's actually in the Maggie Valley? Area? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet y'all. Have a good day. You too. Okay, we're trying to, trying to pack all this food up because we obviously didn't need everything. No. And I'm telling you, it's very generous portions for what it costs. I think we got this on here. The total was uh, 31 52 Yes. That's a lot of food. And they brought us drinks to go, didn't ask for it. Mm-mm. 
Heather was awesome. She was. We sat down, we ordered in less than six, seven minutes. Our food was on the table. Mm -hmm. And very delicious. Can't say anything negative about the food or this place at all. No. All right, you ready? Yes. Let's see around in here. Thank you, Heather. Cooking in the kitchen. It was great. Everything's delicious. Thank, Thank you. you, too. Hey, guys, we met a friend of the family here of the channel. Uh, my name is Rick from Candler, North Carolina. Well, Rick from yeah. Candler, North Carolina. It's the Asheville area. Right? Yes. It's nice to meet you. You, too. And, um, what do you think about the buttered biscuit? I love it. We come here every chance we about every weekend almost if we can. Yeah. What do you usually get? I usually get the veggie omelet and the biscuit gravy. Okay. And Rick was telling us he was one of the ones who says um, we ought to stop here at the yeah. buttered biscuit because yeah. we said we've driven by but we've never stopped. All right. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks for saying hi again. Yeah. Nice you, to meet you. You too. Okay. What's your thoughts? Oh, it was delicious. <laughs> yeah. And lots of food. They're unbelievable. The yes. buttered biscuit here. Uh -huh. I'm just going to say it. That's the best breakfast in Western North Carolina I've had. Really? Yeah. Uh -huh. I mean, you put in the taste and the portions, mm -hmm. and we're taking half of it with us. Yes. Mm -hmm. I mean, that was delicious. It really was. It was great. You know, the biscuits made fresh every day, the gravy. The country ham was good. Yeah. <laughs> Hash browns were excellent too. Yes. My yeah. omelet was good. I still got like half of it left. The biscuits were good and fresh and soft and yummy. Yeah. <laughs> it's right here along the southern road. If you're headed to uh, Maggie Valley or Rison City or Cherokee or Waynesville, yes. it's handy to all of those. You're going to pass right by it. Yes. Family owned, only one. You need to come see them. Yes, you do. Fast service. Definitely recommend it. Well, thanks everybody for joining us. I think we're going to go on to Canton too, maybe. Yeah, Canton or Waynesville. Well, I'm not sure. Yeah. Until next time, we're Fridays. Forever. Bye bye, everybody. Bye.